it's time for the avatars to awaken and to begin to manifest that avatar, to live like that avatar, and to live from the perspective of the light body. And because we're made in the perfect image of God, we have the spiritual capacity to participate in or mirror what Christ did and, and activate our light body. This is the premise of our times. This is what we are experiencing right now. This is the bifurcation. And that term, not made with hands, not made with human hands, is what is applied to two things. The Shroud of Turin, which is evidence of Christ's resurrection, described as not made with human hands. And it's also used by Dr. Eric Davis to describe the, the craft that the U.S. military is studying. And I am convinced it applies to those Tic Tac videos. This unusual term, not made with, with hands, it appeared in, a, in an extraordinary way in June of 2019 with the leak of notes written by Dr. Davis in the aftermath of a meeting with Navy Admiral Wilson on October 16, 2002. The meeting concerned alien technology and a secret military program to study how alien craft work. Among the numerous bombshells, Davis acknowledged the existence of this program and that it is well buried in the government and beyond the oversight of Congress. Davis says in his notes that they were reverse engineering, they were a reverse engineering program of technological hardware recovered in the past. And he's talking about like the Roswell crash, for example. They had a craft that could fly in space, in air and water dimensions. Davis is wondering this in his notes. And more, he wrote, it was technology that was not of this earth, not by human hands. Now, most of us would automatically interpret that to mean it's extraterrestrial. It's not made by human hands. However, and from the perspective that I'm developing with you, I'm asking you to believe that not made by human hands means that it's coming from this higher dimensional realm. It's projected into our realm, and it's the same type of technology that enabled Christ to attain his resurrection body. It's light body technology. And so Davis's notes verify something very important. There's been a UFO cover-up for at least 70 years, and he's referring to a technological advance that's beyond anything we can comprehend. And it is not made by human hands because it is ethereal. It's not meant to mean extraterrestrial. And as Claire and I have, have been studying this for a number of years now, we're working on a book about numerous examples of art and other technologies not made by human hands that are projected or apported into our realm. And clearly what this means is that those UFOs in the Tic Tac video are from another layer of reality. And it says to me that the avatars are awakening and it's up to us to begin to grasp this reality and what it means to live in it. And more importantly, how we can live within it. Now, uh, I'm just gonna check my time here. It's 4.48. Let's take a 10 minute break. We'll come back at the top of the hour and I'm gonna open up my next section and very briefly go through what is now the latest advances with AI and transhumanism. So you can see how they are creating and bringing online the fake reality that they are trying to, to sell us into right now. If we have chosen the COVID vaccine from a medical perspective, I'm not qualified to answer that question, but from a spiritual perspective, based on the placebo effect, I believe that we can, we can nullify or transmute anything with the power of our mind. And that is foremost what we have to develop at this time. I am trying to stay somewhere in the middle here because I know some of you perhaps have already committed or have already taken the COVID vaccine. And I know that there are, are talks out there about potential negative aspects of that. That's not a guarantee. Not, and not everybody who smokes gets lung cancer. 
Okay, so I'm not saying go get the vaccine or don't get the vaccine. What I'm saying is, is that you have the, the ability within your, your spiritual being to control anything in your life. And that is the aspect of your life that we need to be focusing on right now. I, as I said earlier, though, I advise people don't let them break the skin barrier unless it's a life and death situation. So I'm going to leave that, uh, that question uh, with that statement there and move on to the second question, which is, um, have these ancient avatars reincarnated? And if yes, why are they not helping humanity override these demonic influences? Why are they not intervening to help planet Earth rise above these negative forces and disempower these demonic people creating AI and the bad things that are happening? Thank you. Thank you, Francisca. Well, what if they are? And we're just not looking for it yet. I personally, as I said earlier, believe that the Tic Tac video is, is representative of the avatars. It, it displays the level of consciousness of the avatars. And because in the example of the Tic Tac, they have the ability to just utterly destroy any kind of weaponry we can throw at it, then... Uh, and they haven't uh, attacked us, that means they're benevolent. So that's an example of, I believe, the avatars that are here that are making themselves known. And part of what humans have to decide to do is that we want to rise above this. And that is being decided right now in the streets of Paris, in the streets of London, where hundreds of thousands of people are pushing back against uh, vaccine passports, which is the mark of the beast. I mean, let's face it, that, that is what that vaccine passport is. You can't buy, sell, or trade unless you have the mark of the beast, the vaccine passport. And while it's not in our forehead or our hand at this moment, it is probably headed there. We're certainly in the preliminary stages where a mark of the beast, the fulfillment of that mark of the beast prophecy is on its way. And there are hundreds of thousands of people around the world who are pushing back. There's how many Americans that have not, uh, have not taken the vaccine? Tens of millions of people, perhaps as many as a billion people worldwide who are, as they say, vaccine hesitant. They're an example of humans who are saying, no, not so fast, we're pushing back. And as these dark and negative forces continue to push their agenda, they're revealing themselves for who they actually are. And if you have any questions about who they are, you won't soon. And what that means is that it's time now for uh, an acceleration of the, the, the battle, if you will, between the forces of light and dark. But as I said, my script is the book of Revelation and spoiler alert, the light wins. The light wins. And the dark knows that. They, they know they're only going to be able to go so far with their plans. And that doesn't mean we can sit back on our and rest and let everybody else take care of it because it's all going to be well. It's a, it's a possibility, it's a probability that the light wins, but we still have to go through the actions. And I know it, it, it can be painful, it can be frustrating, but at the same time, think of the rewards that will be there for us as the light wins. Think of the new civilization the high spiritual civilization that emerges in the aftermath of what we are going through. These are the birth pangs of the Messiah in the Kabbalistic teachings. And we've been in it since 2012. It's now accelerating, but we've been in it for a good while, at least two decades, probably more. And so we've, we've come this far, and now we need to lock on to the ultimate manifestation in a positive way of what you and I both know is the reason why we incarnated at this time. Just begin to get into that place of deep gratitude for the resolution for this scenario, the positive resolution for this scenario. 
imagine our world when the Christ avatar, the Maitreya avatar is present on earth and how your life will change as a result of that. And what I'm saying to you is that it has already begun. It has already begun. And now we're going through this acceleration process in, in the coming weeks, months, and years, you will accelerate as well. Perhaps this presentation will be an accelerant. It will drive you to, to dig deeper, to understand more, to, to meditate more, to do all of those positive things that you know you need to be doing, but perhaps you've been procrastinating on. There's no time left for procrastination, friends. It's, it's, it's all time for action now. Action based on love, action based on light. Influencing the field. We know the power of the heart. We know the power of your, of your thoughts to influence everyone and everything around you. And it's time now for every one of us to, to accelerate and amplify those powers. Uh, the next question was, these benevolent beings in the crafts which you are speaking of, why do not they help us turn off the demonic switches of the new world? Will the spiritual avatar step up to help humanity get back to its natural organic ways? Yeah, I, I think I just addressed that. I, I believe that that is the future for humanity is remaining in that organic state that we will see this technology try to make its, uh, to, to reach an apex here and people are, are going to start to reject it even more. The, the, the tidal wave has begun. The tidal wave has begun. Again, if you're paying attention and you're looking at, the, again, the hundreds of thousands of people in the streets of, of London and Paris and elsewhere, they're pushing back. And that's what we must be doing at this time in every way that we can in our individual lives. So I'm going to now, uh, just for a moment, go back to uh, the, the end of my presentation about what is happening with the technology. And then, uh, as I promised, this was going to be a, a sort of a sandwich with the, the middle filler being the not nice stuff. And then we'll, we'll finish our presentation with tapping ways to tap into our angelic or avatar self. So I'm going to... Uh, move the questions here and then begin to share my screen. So there we go. Okay. That. Okay. I'm going to pick up right here uh, in the interest of time and talk about what is happening with uh, the parallel earth that is being created by Silicon Valley. I think this is very integral because it, it gives us the juxtaposition and shows us how the avatars with a little a are operating and mimicking what the big avatars will do. So let's talk about Revelation chapter 21, one. John the Revelator in a scene is writing and he says, then I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, look, God's dwelling is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and, and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things had passed away. And so this is the time when the New Jerusalem, the celestial city that the Essenes uh, introduced to us, reveals itself. And God comes down, an avatar comes and lives with humanity. The mocking or mimicking of this is what Silicon Valley is doing with virtual reality. When John says, I saw a new heaven and a new earth, Silicon Valley thinks, yeah, that's going to be a, a new virtual world that you can access through virtual goggles. Um, this is something that uh, is happening right now in, in, in schools, 
uh, and, and games that kids are playing all around the world. And I just wanted to spend a moment covering this for you.